welcome back to fun time today i'll be teaching you how to make a paper flexagon let's start you'll be needing four items one a pencil a scissor and a scale and this part is optional you can use for a smaller flexagon you can use square a square paper and for a big one we'll use a rectangular paper so we're gonna make a one by two ratio paper so i'll first see how to make it in a square so what you're gonna do is just fold it your square in half and there you go and cut along this line i'm not cut along this line i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna keep it aside so this and you'll be left with something like this so this is the one by two ratio on a rectangular paper what you're gonna do fold it in half like so let me try to make it as perfect as possible and, and what you're gonna do is just fold your paper like as if you're doing a square so one by two piece of paper is nothing, but it's like two squares attached to each other. So that's an easy explanation. And now you cut along this line as if you're gonna make a square as said. Just like so. So it's possible and perfect. And of course, you are not going to need this paper anymore, so you can you know, throw it away. I'll keep it aside. And voila, you got your one by two piece of paper. See, this is way bigger, so that's why I'm going to prefer a big one. So, the first step to make a flexagon is fold your sheet of paper in half. Like so. And let's crease as tight as possible. And now unfold and fold both of these two sides to the middle crease. And just like so. There we go. Crease tight. And repeat on right here. For this origami, you're going to make sure that your crease are very, very tight. Now, flip it, fold it in half, like so, crease it tightly again. And now, you're going to grab out your pencil and see, draw a very light line over here on this crease. And now, fold these two sides to the center crease we have just drawn. So if you could take a little bit of practice, you don't need lines, but for today's video, it's for start, so start us, so you can just, I'm going to just insert the line because it's way easier for you guys to understand. Now, repeat on this side. Just like that. Crease tight. And draw a line. So pretty much what you're going to do is just fold like this, crease it, I'll draw my length later, first I'll just crease them, and do this, repeat the same process over here, and open it up, fold this, this area to this piece to here on this line. And crease tight, like so. Unfold, repeat on this side. Fold this side to this crease right here. And fold. Oops. Just like so. 
And now, should we do a magic for drawing the lines? Um, maybe no. We'll just draw the lines. It's easy. There we go. There we go. I don't know if you guys could see properly, but um, here we go. And one more. There we go. And we're gonna make a big line, which is the center. See? I'll draw a line over here. So now it's gonna be much, much, much easier for us to work. Now comes the difficult part. You know, a little bit difficult, but if you practice, you're going to know it. So, what you're going to do is, see, you're going to take, to stir, choose any side. Let's go with the left side for now. And what you're going to do is see these two blocks, draw a line diagonally. So, it goes from this point to this point. And while, after you draw it, quickly crease it or it's going to be difficult. Crease it nice and tight. Now, you're gonna do this thing, but what you're gonna do is see this one. I'm gonna go from here, leave this block, and continue over here. See, it's a little difficult, but if you practice it, it's gonna be easy for you. And crease tight. Nice and tight. There we go. Now we're gonna repeat this process all like over again so and make sure you're gonna leave a block here as well see here's a diagonal line is running through so we don't want to confuse that block and swamp leave a block there we go it's kind of difficult if you ask me though and crease it and we're gonna just pretty much do it over so we'll go with this one and this is gonna be our end so this is called as the diamond pattern like, i don't know if you already know this diamond pattern then it's gonna be very easy for you guys to make wanted to see that crease very tight now we have one more two oopsies there we go ooh that was super fast and now you have to reverse it and do it on the side which is you know easier than you think so let's do it a little quick So once you're done with the whole thing, it your pattern should look something like this. Looks like diamonds, right? I hope so. Now we're gonna do a much difficult thing. It's not that difficult. Flip your paper and just crease it on. Oops, just do it on the crease. These lines, see these lines? I'm gonna just crease them over. Just one more time to make this process, the next process much easier. Now what you're gonna do, see you're gonna compare these two flaps and see which one is smaller. So I had this one as my smaller look, you can see the difference, right? So what I'm gonna do is tuck this piece in, right? See here's the opening, I'm gonna just tuck this piece. So uh, there's no way for you guys to do it perfect very precise so you know you're gonna at least have sometimes you won't have that much of a difference but you know it's gonna be so you're gonna tuck in two blocks so see these see there are two blocks one and two I'm gonna tuck these two blocks in we are not gonna need these two blocks so let's just tuck it in and connect it up there we go. Whoopsies. And now we're gonna again see the triangle. So we're gonna make 
fold along these screens and now it looks something of a shape right now see these down creases it's like if you see it on the bottom it's like a hill you won't find it on everything on one side it's gonna be like this and another side is going to be like a hill so on the side which is like this you're going to fold it down like this and raise it you're going to find every piece which is like this and fold it down simple right simple and crease this and this, of course. And now, do it the exact thing on this side. This side won't be difficult because, see, you already folded, so you don't need to look through the whole thing. Just like that. Crease nice and tight. So the part which is very difficult is the place where you tucked it in. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but not that much. Okay, so nice and tight. And do it on this side as well. Now we're done. Look, this shape should look like a hexagon. So now what you're gonna do, see this, these triangle. You're gonna just make sure it pops up. You're gonna fold these two points in. So, this should be like this. You should not push this crease in or else this flexagon won't work. And see, you're gonna hold this down and do it on every side. Oopsies. Be careful because you don't want to fold this crease in or else it's going to not work. You can always crease it and you can always pinch it. So it's going to make it way, way, way easier for you guys. So this is the part where I connected. That's why it's very difficult. Just like that. We are done with two sides, and now we only have one more side to do, and this is going to be a little more difficult than each other's. Just like so, pinch on these lines. Ooh. And there we go, we're done with our flexagon. Now we are going to start the movement. So what you're going to do is see these corners, you're going to push them in. It's going to be really tight, but try your level best. Now you're going to push on this crease. Next. Oh, it's really hard. This is going to, this is a hard color paper, so it's really hard to move. And it just basically needs to get the moment. And there we go. Your flex have gone. Once you got the moment, right, go move a little faster. Start with a slow pace and go with a faster pace. Of course, your paper is going to kind of tremble. And yeah, just kind of crumble up like this. But do the moment, it's going to be all fine. Look. Our flexagon is ready. And now, this is a great stress reliever, guys. And you can always, you know, bring it to your class and just show it to your friends or, you know, just play it when you're bored. Just like that. And this is almost unlimited, guys. It's unlimited fun. And yeah, guys. It's super fun, and you can also, you know, take it from the bottom. See, you can take it from the bottom and do it, or push this in. It's your totally your wish, guys. And this is so, so, so fun. I don't know, it's just so amazing. And you know, the problem with it is just you can't keep it down. 
So yeah guys, I hope you love this video. Make sure like and subscribe to Fun Time. Bye guys, see you in the next video.